Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper and today we need to do some electrical cleanup on the 1967 Mustang. Today we need to wrap up the electrical system in the engine bay of the 1967 Mustang. Ultimately, there weren't any major issues with it, but it's all laying in the way or not properly stowed away for when I go to place the engine back in the car, which makes it a lot more difficult. I need to get the EFI wiring tucked and zip tied in more permanent locations. I need to protect some wires that previously weren't protected. I need to sort out the wiring for the actual more permanent electric fan that will be staying in this car. And I would like to move the car over to use an Odyssey battery. So let's go ahead and get under the hood and see what I can get done. So I've got the new battery in the car, I've got all the wiring as cleaned up as it can possibly be, and I think I'm ready for the engine installation. Ultimately, I can only do so much with the wiring that's already in the car without a lot more time to do some serious adjustments. And I've got the battery in there, but it may not be enough for this engine. I'm really gambling on the cold cranking amps. I have the same battery in the SR240Z and it can crank almost endlessly on that engine, so I'm thinking it probably actually is enough for this car. If you're looking for more information about this process and how I'm making some of the decisions or why I'm making some of the decisions that I am, a longer form video of the entire installation process will be coming where I will explain more in detail what I'm doing. Until then, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.